cars. Today is Friday, March 6th. On this day in history, in the year 1475, Michelangelo was born. He was most famous for his painting of the Sistine Chapel, the ceiling in the Sistine Chapel. In 1930, Clarence Birdseye started to sell prepackaged food for the first time in Springfield, Massachusetts. And in 1981, and I remember this, I'm a little old to be saying, Walter Cronkite retired from the CBS Evening News and was replaced by Dan Rather. His famous clo closing line was, and that's the way it is, on March 6, 2015. Some of you might remember him. Um, the auto show is on. It starts tomorrow. Today is uh, the dealer day or dealer evening. Um, our Cleveland Auto Show is one of the largest in the country. It's really very good. So um, hopefully you'll plan to attend that. And in addition to the big Honda and Toyota displays, our own Motor Cars Mobility has a display down there. So please look for Ken and for Jennifer when you're down there. I wanted to talk about the month of February. We closed that out. And thanks to everyone for your great effort in getting all the deals turned in, all the repair orders closed, and all the things that need to be done in order for us to get our financial statements done on the second workday for Chuck and Matt and Trevor. We were successful doing that again this year. So thanks to everybody for all your hard work and to the ladies in the office who will work especially hard those couple of days, as always. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit comparing this February to last February. At the Honda store, we did more new car volume this year than we did last February. We did 98 units versus 91 last year. Um, in service at Honda, we did uh, 200, I'm sorry, 2,110 repair orders versus 1,765 the year before. And I'm happy to say that they had their best February ever, in spite of all the construction and all of the um, obstacles that are in their way over there. Best February ever. So to Bob and to John at night and um, all their folks, thanks so much for a great February at Honda Service. Um, <clears throat> downtown, we did 517 repair orders this year versus 494 last year. So again, that's quite, a, quite an effort for the downtown folks. Dave and Denise and all those folks down there, thanks so much for your effort. At the Toyota side, uh, new car volume was better than last February. We did 66 new cars versus 56 last year, as was used. We did 79 used vehicles versus 67 last year. Service repair orders, we did 2,083 ROs here at Toyota in service versus 2,055 last year. Um, parts tickets, we did 2,531 parts tickets versus 2,242 last year, so more parts were sold. Um, the body shop, we did less ROs than last year, but we did the same amount of gross profit. So they had some big jobs over in the body shop, and it's no wonder with the weather we've had and all the snow. Um, so great job to everybody there. Um, February kind of tells you what you're made of. We spend a lot of money on things that are no fun, like snow removal and salt and higher utility bills and a lot of that kind of expense. Um, and we, when business pairs back a little bit in these harsh winter months, we have to really watch our expenses and really dial in on that. So everybody's pretty focused on that at both of these stores. So let's try to make a good concentrated effort to make sure that we pare back on our expenses and really watch watch what we're spending. Because when months get good, if we've got good discipline in place, then we will really feel the, the benefit and, and reap the fruits of, that, of those efforts in the good months, which we're coming into now that spring is almost here. So thanks so much for that. Um, birthdays. We have one birthday, John Carides, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right, John. John is our night service manager at Honda. His birthday is Sunday, the 8th. So if you see John, and I guess he's probably off today, but when you see John next, be sure to wish him a happy birthday. Um, <clears throat> the last thing I just wanted to mention quickly is that it is daylight savings time. Thank goodness. I love it when we get an extra hour of daylight. So don't forget to spring forward your clocks on Sunday or Saturday night. I guess it's Saturday, Sunday morning, 2 a.m. I guess is the technical time. Um, and as they say, change your smoke alarm batteries as well. So that's all I have today. Have a great day, everybody, and a great weekend, and be safe. Thanks.